So I just made a video, but uh, I really actually didn't like it because I'm gross. But uh, just so you know, I was in a side pony all day and I wore this. But it was like a gross side pony and I wore my glasses. But anyway, that's that was my first college homeless day. I can, I'm considering today my first college homeless look day. Um, so I want to talk about some of the people I met this week. And they're all dudes. And you guys already know that I joined rugby. You already know that I saw like them streaking, so I don't have to talk about it. Um, but what I am going to talk about are the people that are just like in my life, but they're not even like really in my life yet. They just kind of like are weird background characters that very like interest me a lot. So, number one, there's this kid named Forrest in my History of Rock and Roll uh, class, and he wears, like, Karate Kid-style headbands every day, and I haven't seen him wear the same, like, I haven't seen him wear the same pattern once yet. Like, one day he was wearing camo, one he was just, like, I think just normal black, one was, like, animal print. Today it was, like, some crazy abstract thing, and... I haven't seen him without a headband yet, and I fucking love it. Like, he's adorable, and he's really funny, too. I just kind of watch him in class, just kind of, like, keep myself aware of him, because he, he kind of looks like Channing Tatum if he had longer hair. That was, that's kind of like, like, I don't know how else to describe it. He's, he's really, it's me in my heart. Um, then there's a kid named Kit that I met who's on the rugby team, and he's their kicker. And he's really funny. Like, I went to this event before, the night before their game, so it would have been Friday night. Um, he pretended to seduce the beer, and he told me, he like whispered in my ear, he's like, it looks like drugs and semen. And I was like, what the fuck? Like, I just had to laugh. Like, I don't, I don't know. It was so weird. And then, um, how we met was actually, I took a break when we were playing a uh, touch, a touch two-hand touch with the dudes, um, which is, like, rugby, but instead of tackling, you just get them out by stopping them. Um, I stepped, like, I stepped out early to get water because I've been sick all week, and, um, so yeah, I was sick, and I, like, went back to get my water, and he was sitting out, too, because I think he's been sick, too, and, I was like, he was like, how are you? And I was like, I'm good, how are you? And we just kind of had a conversation, and his name's Kit. And he is... Uh, he has, uh, like, really cute freckles and stuff. Um, he looks, he has, like, a baby face, kind of. But he has, I don't know, he's just... Hmm. And then there's also a guy on the rugby team named Zach, who looks so much like Mitchell, and kind of acts like him, too. And so that's funny. And then another kid... His name is Brian. He's in my environmental history class, and he reminds me of Napoleon Dynamite. Uh, John Heater, who plays Napoleon Dynamite, plays uh, Jimmy McElroy in um, in Blades of Glory, and he really reminds me of that character for some reason. Like his voice just sounds like that, and uh, he's really nice. And I ate lunch with him on Friday. Because he's in my environmental history class, and with I ate lunch with him and his friends, and they're sophomores, and I felt super special. And uh, then on Saturday morning, I ate breakfast with him because I saw him. And he's like, I kind of liking, or he's like, I kind of <laughs> like eating breakfast alone. And I was like, Oh, well, sorry, I had to come creep you out. It's fine. Um, so that happened, and then. I'm under time. I've been doing really good. I had a really good weekend, um, and then it went to shit last night, but that is a story for a different day. It doesn't really matter. Uh, we had a lot of bonding time with my floor. Um, been really sore, really sick, um, but all in all, I'm just I'm working my way up in the world. Rugby was the best decision. I could have made. Um, so yeah, I think that's it. Under time, bitches. For the first time in so long.